the man known to the faithful as El Comandante, was carried from a hospital along the Paseo Los Praceres to the military academy. There he will lie in state until his funeral on Friday. There was an outpouring of grief for a man who lifted so many people out of poverty and raised the standards of living and education amongst large sections of the working class. My heart is broken. Chavez took a piece of my heart. Men like our commander-in-chief is left in irreparable loss, a heroic man that has fought for Venezuela, especially for us, the poor. Chavez lives. Chavez lives because I am Chavez and because most of us are Chavez. Long live Chavez. Hasta la victoria siempre, Comandante Chavez. National television joined in the morning. This reflects the standing Chavez holds for many, but also the grip he had on Venezuela's media. Comandante Hugo Chavez, libertador del siglo XXI. His critics, domestic and abroad, said he was a bombastic demagogue who used the state to further his own career. He allied Venezuela to Syria, Iran and Cuba. He went out of his way to insult what he called the Yankee imperialists during hours-long rants on his own TV show. In my bad English, you are a donkey, Mr. Danger. Yesterday, the devil came here. These supporters helped Chavez win the third term in office last year, amid a crime wave, food shortages and power cuts in a country which has massive oil reserves. Despite these images, Venezuela is a deeply divided country. It's volatile. The day had begun with riot police deployed in the capital in case of clashes between pro and anti Chavez groups. An election is expected within a month. Vice President Nicolas Maduro is favorite to win and to continue the political philosophy which has become known as Chavisma. But the question is being asked, can Chavisma survive without Chavez? Tim Marshall, Sky News.